Yes, okay, everything's moving very fast. And the game is still running. Now this, this is truly a sight, made in heaven. Okay, but jokes aside, I was really hoping for this not to be capped at 10,000. I was really hoping for this to be a little faster. So, it's been 4 months since Minecraft 1.21 has been announced, and yet we still don't know what the title of it is. And with the new update comes new structures and blocks that has caused drama in the community, but one block seemed to stood out the most during the whole update. The crafter block. Yes, with the crafter you can automate crafting with redstone. It's pretty similar to a crafting table, except instead of pulling the item out yourself, you can use the redstone pulls to get it out. When it first got announced, I was excited, and the block had definitely lived up to the hype. And as any regular Minecraft player, I searched up tutorials for auto crafters and... My disappointment is immeasurable, and my day is ruined. The tutorials I found are either just straight up unreliable, too complicated, and extremely costly. Now I know Exuma has his own auto crafter already, but I just don't like the idea of leaving the items inside his blueprints and have the items filtered using it. I mean, what happens when you run out of items? Which is why this video, I'm going to be making an auto crafter that is simple, reliable, and cheap. But anyways, please like and subscribe and let's jump right in. Hey, so future Daryl here, and I have forgot to mention a few things. First off, this video was recorded back in November 2023, and since this is built during an early snapshot, some changes may arise. But don't worry, as I've tested it with the latest snapshot, and it still works fine. If it breaks with and 1.21 actually rolls, I will make an update video as soon as possible. Also, I will not be showing how to stack auto crafters and evenly distributing items for the sake of time, but theoretically, they are possible. Anyways, I wasted enough of your time. Please enjoy the video. Right into the video. Okay, so as you can see here, this build will consist of three different sections, and I will be providing the timestamps that you can skip towards in the video timeline as well as in the video description below. For this first section, you're gonna need two resin comparators, one resin repeater, two crafters, two resin dusts, and two chests. And you're just gonna grab these, and you can grab any block of your choice. So first off, what you want to do is that you're gonna want to place your crafter over here. And you want to place three blocks like so. And remove the center block over here to make way for a redstone comparator. Now you're also gonna want to place a redstone comparator over here as well and a crafter over here. Next up, you are to place your two resin dusts here, and right on top of the crafter, like so. And finally, the resin beater goes here. Now before you do anything, you're gonna want to disable all of these slots, like so. And if we're gonna be completely honest, we're practically done with the crafter. If the recipes that you want to make is is only, only consists of one item, and... You can honestly do this, just place a chest like that, like so, and give it iron feeds, and it will just create a lot of iron blocks. And of course it's gonna keep on spitting out, so you're gonna wanna have to put a chest over here in order to collect all these items directly. So how does this work? So basically, the items are gonna be- are getting feeded in directly into the crafter. As you guys can see, this crafter is outputting a redstone signal. That is because depending on the amount of items that are inside the crafter, it will emit that specific signal strength. So let's say for example there's only one item in the crafter, it will only give out one signal strength. 
And now what this crafter does is that it basically restricts the crafter to... It only allows this comparator to output if it has a signal strength of 9. So let's say for example I toggle these slots, it will craft out the iron nuggets over here, as you can see. And essentially what over here does is it's basically a powering this resin resin dust, and then this resin dust is transferring to this resin repeater, and then this resin repeater goes into directly into this redstone, powering the crafter. However, as you can tell, this only works for basic crafting. So if it's only if the crafting recipe consists of just like iron ingots, for example, you want to make like a minecart or an iron door, uh, then this would honestly be all you'll need. You just need to make sure you toggle these the specific slots that you'll need to craft the specific items. However, when it comes to more advanced crafting, let's say you have multiple items in a recipe, then there's gonna be some trouble. Which is why we have section 2, the item sorting. Okay, so before we dive deeper, do bear in mind that the number of blocks in this section will vary depending on the number of crafting spots you will be using. Meaning you'll have to multiply all of these by the number of crafting slots. So for our case, we want to be creating a, a crafter that can auto-craft iron swords. So we're going to need it to follow this recipe right over here. In that case, we're going to be multiplying all of these by 3. So in my case, I'm going to need 6 hoppers, 6 chests, redstone comparator, resin, 3 resin repeaters, 3 resin torches, and 6 redstone dust. Now first of what you're going to do is that you want to place your hoppers like directly into the crafter. And after that, you want to build hold up, and then you can put your chest over here like so. Now next up, you're going to want to place your blocks like so. So, so what, as you can see here, we have this claw shape over here. You're going to want to copy this shape, and then you want to place a resin comparator using directly through the chest. And then you want to place a resin torch over here, and a resin dust over here, and right, and over here you're going to want to place one more resin dust and a repeater feeding into this block. Now you want to copy this as many times as you need, depending on the amount of crafting slots that you are going to need. So in my case, I need three. So do that three more times. We're good to go. Now, in order to basically prevent this from blowing in, I'm gonna be placing a lever over here. Now, how you would want to feed your items in is that you want to have go from left to right, top to bottom. So, let's say for example, I want to make an iron sword. So, all I would need, I will have to toggle these slots, and only these slots will be available. And because I want to craft, craft iron swords, I will have to place place my ingredients in this specific order. So iron over here, iron over here, and of course sticks over here. Now before I go ahead and place these sticks in here, I want to quickly show you guys exactly what is going on. So as you can see here, there are two comparators that light up. It's because these items have items, have items inside. What this platform up here does is it basically checks if, if there's enough items to craft. So let's say for example, if I put my six here, it will deep how or everything. So, well, it won't because I have a redstone, I have a lever powering on, but if I just let's break the connection, it will depower everything. Now, as you have uh, may have noticed, these items are not flowing into the hoppers. That is because these these resin repeaters are powered and these redstone because thanks to this lever right over here. Now, what we want to do is that we want to deactivate this within one tick. In order so that way only one item can pass through can be at filtered one at a time and then once the crafter has finished crafting whatever it's crafting then it will dispense out in this chest and it would refire the entire thing again in, and constantly crafting and crafting all over again and that is essentially what section 3 will be doing so as you can see so the, what you're going to need is five redstone dust Four resin repeaters, one resin torch, and any build you like. So first off, you're going to want to build your platform out like so. Now first off, place your resin torch over here. And this would essentially stop the entire thing, so you don't even need to have your lever on. So, the repeaters are all are still activated. So yeah, 
so there is no need for your lever. Next up, you're going to want to place your resonant repeater over here, which will essentially get powered whenever the crafter has successfully crafted. And then next up, you'll place your resonant dust over here, and then you're going to want to connect these two sections up. So run a resonant circuit down here. Oh, and just so you know, please make sure to remove the last item that you have in here. So that way it does not automatic, it doesn't run on its own while you're building it. Now next up, what you want to put over here is a falling edge monostable circuit. So you can build any kind of mono falling edge monostable circuit you like, but for me personally, I like to use the silent falling, falling edge monostable circuit. So we're going to be placing two repeaters like so. And then we're going to have this repeater facing this way. And as you can see, this repeater is powering this resonant repeater over here. Then you're going to want to place a redstone dust right here. Now the resonant repeater delays are going to have to depend on whether if you're in a Java, if you're playing Minecraft Java Edition, or if you're playing Minecraft Bedrock Edition. So let's say for example, you're playing Minecraft Bedrock Edition. What you want to do is keep these two at zero ticks, and you want to put this repeater over here to two ticks. However, if you are on Java Edition, like I am currently right now, we're gonna want to place this to zero. We want these two to be zero ticks and this to one tick. And we are pretty much done. So let's say, for example, as you can see up here, Resto is still being powered through here because there is because there is not enough items to craft. So let's say, for example, if we put a put these sticks over here, it will automatically run the circuit and it will automatically craft iron swords. Now if you want now if you want you can keep this lever up here to essentially stop the redstone circuit from running again. This is in case if you need to check for if anything is going wrong. And that's all for this Minecraft tutorial video. If you have any ideas for any future tutorial video ideas, please do leave them in the comment section down below. And anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys enjoyed it, please do leave a like, don't forget to subscribe, and slap the bell to never miss another video. And of course, peace out. God, I need to just stop editing like this. Like, no one is going to see this until, like, how long is it till I get at least 1,000 subscribers, huh? Like, I don't know. 10 years time?